tutorial I'll be reviewing Navy Federal Digital Investor. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and look at the pros and then move towards the cons. So let's go ahead and start with the pros. So I'm just gonna write in pros. And let's get started with our first one, which is beginner friendly. So beginner friendly. So, user-friendly interface and automated investing makes it easy to set up and forget. Choosing pre-built portfolios based on your risk tolerance and timeline. The next one we have is low minimums and fractional shares. So, low minimum and fractional shares. So, start with just $1 and invest any amount in any ETF regardless of full share price. Perfect for gradual portfolio building. The next one we have is cost effective. So, cost effective. So, flat monthly fee can be budget friendly for beginners fees stay the same regardless of rebalancing frequency or holiday holdings lastly we have long-term focus long term focus so automated approach and etf emphasis suit long-term goals like retirement savings Pre-built portfolios prioritize diversification for a buy and hold strategy. So that is it for the pros. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the cons. The first con we have is limited choices. Limited choices. So pre-built portfolios restrict investment options. You can't pick individual stock or bonds limiting control for experienced investors. Next one we have is potentially higher fees. Potentially higher fees. So the flat fee though initially attractive might become less cost effective as your portfolio grows. The percentage fee may become less competitive compared to per trade commissions offered elsewhere. Next we have less control. So if you enjoy active management and researching individual investments, this platform might feel too restrictive. Pre-built portfolios lack customization, limiting your ability to tailor investments to specific preferences. And lastly, we have customer service concerns. concerns. So, some reviews mention difficulty reaching customer service by phone while online resources are available. Phone support can be important for beginners with questions. Now what's the verdict? Navy Federal Digital Investor is a good fit for Navy Federal members who are new to investing or prefer a hands-off approach. The user-friendly platform, low minimums, and fractional shares make it attractive for beginners. However, limited choices and potentially higher fees for larger portfolios might not suit experienced investors. Remember, research and compare platforms before investing. Consider your gold, risk tolerance, and desired control level to see if Navy Federal Digital Investor aligns with your your investment strategy so all right guys that'll be it for the review i hope it helped you out and i'll be seeing you guys next time peace out